Welcome to the Baruch Center for Teaching and Learning's Teach Online Course Prep Guide, Week 1. This guide is intended to give instructors who are new to teaching online a four-week process for building a course. In this video, we introduce three initial steps to consider. We also highlight the workshop slated for this first week, as well as additional resources, plus other opportunities to reach out to us. So let's get started. First, consider defining your learning goals. A learning goal is something that you want students to be able to know or do by the end of the course. The first step of the guide will help you to establish learning goals that are concrete and transparent to students. Making learning goals explicit and accessible and declaring sound rationale for them will promote greater engagement among students in the online learning process. See the week one guide for more information about this first step. Next, consider designing a first major unit. A unit is a collection of course content that explores a specific chunk of your curriculum, an essential set of topics, questions, or concepts, for example. Fashioning an online course unit may draw out new questions about how your curriculum connects with your students and what kind of rhythm you want to set with coursework and deadlines. And breaking up the information into smaller pieces makes it easier for students to build their knowledge gradually. See the week one guide for methods to consider here in the second step, including backwards course design and the scaffolding of assignments. Finally, each week we'll encourage you to take time to think about your students, yourself, and how you can humanize the online classroom. For this week, take time to reflect on the classroom community you wish to cultivate. Remember that students learn from and motivate each other. Consider, too, the challenges we currently face in our college community and out in the world around us. With all this in mind, it will be important for students to have spaces to connect, whether synchronously, as with live Zoom meetings, or asynchronously, as with blogs, video posts, or discussion boards. See the Week 1 Guide for ways to reflect on this third step and to view resources for finding the right mixture of synchronous and asynchronous teaching for your course. Beyond taking these three steps, we'd love to see you at any of our workshops during this first week. See the Let's Cook Together section of the Week 1 Guide for more details. You can also ask a question about teaching and learning in our online Q&A forum, and you can sign up for a consultation with us for more focused one-on-one -on -one assistance. Want even more to chew on? Check out additional relevant resources at the bottom of the Week 1 Guide. We're happy you're here with us, and we're looking forward to partnering with you as you build your online class. From all of us at the Center for Teaching and Learning, thanks, and we'll see you again in week two.